six million car accidents a year. Out of those six million, three million people get injured in these car accidents. Incredible. You know, so, you know, what now? What do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you do a physical uh, assessment, you know, of your, of your injury assessment, of what you are capable of doing and what you're not. Know your body. You know, you have cracked ribs. Are you internally bleeding? And what you do internally is you feel around. Internally bleeding is very dangerous, right? Very so dangerous. Very really dangerous. doing a check. Does it hurt yes. if I touch yes. here or here? Yes. You, you know, when you get in that accident, first thing you want to do is jump out of that car and go You either yell or talk to the person, as I've seen in my experience. But what you want to do is do that physical assessment and then check your passengers if you have a child. Now, if someone is injured, immediately call 911 and get that ambulance on the way. You want that help coming. The only thing you do is if there's a greater threat coming your way, let's say we're on that icy road, right. there could be a potential secondary accident coming your way, an 18-wheeler. Cars could be coming yeah, down that's the That's right. Way. You either want to try and move that car or get the passengers and yourself out. But let's take the, let's take the scenario. Some people are scared to move someone if they're injured, but if you're still in imminent danger, hello. That's right. right? You don't want that 18-wheeler, as we've all seen Especially in the news. if it's dark out or it's twilight. That's right. 20, 20 car pileups oh. happening. You don't want that to happen. If there's a high traffic area, you want to pull that car over, and now you want to do what's called a threat assessment. The threat assessment is, is what's coming your way. We pulled the car over. Who's in that other car? You know, we've all been on the road where we see people get out and they start yelling at each other. They go under the seat. You don't want to be anywhere near that. So common sense is your best friend. If I get in a fender bender with you and I see you, you're smiling, I'm smiling. I know there's no car the cars coming our way. I'm going to get stay out. Stay put. Don't uh, get yes. out and talk to the other person. Right. You want to stay put. And then what you do is this. You look, you call 911, know where you are. If it's nighttime, well, then guess what? It may be a higher crime area. There may be danger in the area. So you call 911 and you, and you suss out the situation. Know your scenario. If people are coming your way, I would rather you be rude than wrong. You right. know, you want to lower your profile. We all have what I call sometimes not so smartphones. Right. The first thing you do, if it's nighttime, you're in a high crime area. You don't want to light yourself up because that's where the bad guys go window shopping. They see you, you may have nice jewelry, you may right. be alone, they may be coming. If people are coming towards you in the car, you want to lower that window and say, hey, listen, it's okay. I have it covered. I just called the police. They're on their way. Now, again, rude than wrong. If they're coming your way and they don't stop, you want to lay on that horn and get on the phone with the cops. Right. So that's what you do in these scenarios. So shut up. Don't talk to the other driver. <laughs> and feel free to be rude. <laughs> yes. And you want to get as much of a view as humanly possible when you're in the car. So for instance, like, like you put your, you know, the imaginary door here. Right. You want to be get a full you and a little trick that I do is when I'm in a parking lot, even when I'm not in an accident, I put on many cars have the button so you can oh, so see you in can back see out you. the back. That's right, because now you know who's coming up on you in any situation. Good one. That's so let's really get good. out of the car. Right, let's get out of the car. Right. Moving along. Now we're in that fender bender. Now these pictures are of a car accident, and what you want to do is you have your phone again. This phone is now your best friend for many reasons. As you can see with the pictures, they're from different angles. You again, safety is paramount. But if you can, let's say it's in a parking lot and there's no one's, you're not impeding anyone, you want to get it from many different angles, from many different perspectives. And then what you also want to do, advice. while it's still on your mind, you want to get that pen or pencil out and draw your a diagram of what happened and all this will come out later when you're dealing with insurance or you know law enforcement and then what you want to do is you want to exchange that information and you know what nowadays everything is replaceable you're not replaceable you want to be in a safe area and we can talk be friends and give our exchange that information license registration and insurance number you know and the most important thing is when the police come up like a little trick I'm gonna my brothers and sisters in law enforcement maybe get a little upset with this but we've all been pulled over and the first thing they say do you know what I pulled you over for? Right. You know, do you know how fast you were going? Right. Well, you don't want to necessarily say, yes, officer, I was doing 75 and a 45. <laughs> right. Because that's going to get you a ticket real quick. Just give the basic information, keep your mouth shut, because you may not be in a state of mind. You want to think factually, not emotionally. And when you get in an accident, most people are thinking emotionally. This is called rec check. And what rec check does is it makes it self-explanatory oh, for you. Oh, it has self-explanatory. Right. It tells right. you everything you need to know. You if fill 
you just in. had a wreck, you're shaking, you're upset, right. you're distracted, so this walks you through it's it. It's a fill in the blank. That's great. And I encourage everyone to get to one of these apps. Correct, right. Absolutely. Yeah.